What's going on everyone? Welcome to another Keyshot quick tip. In this video, we'll take a look at Keyshot 10's all new light manager feature and learn how you can use it to better manage your scene's lighting. Along with the addition of light gizmos and updates to physical lighting in Keyshot 10, Luxion has also introduced the all new light manager feature, which makes managing your scene's lighting easier than ever. Using the new dockable panel, the light manager allows you to control all scene lighting from a single location, reducing the need to jump between menus and panels while making adjustments. With your scene open, you can access the light manager three different ways. You can select it from the window menu at the top of the program window. You can use the shortcut Shift L. Or, if you'd like to use a preset lighting workspace, you can select it from the workspace dropdown at the top left of the window. After your light manager is open, you'll notice that light controls previously found under each individual material property subtabs can now be quickly and easily accessed from a single list. Here you'll be able to adjust individual light properties such as a light's color or temperature, its brightness through the light's power settings, and you'll also be able to adjust radius and beam angle depending on the physical light type you're adjusting. At the top of the manager, you'll also find a series of environment settings to adjust, as well as an environment dropdown that lets you switch between saved environments. Keyshot 10's Light Manager is a great improvement that helps make setting up your scenes lighting faster than ever before, so next time you're working with lights in your Keyshot scenes, give it a try and you'll be sure to make lighting your scenes an absolute breeze. Thanks for watching this Keyshot 10 quick tip. If you're interested in more useful Keyshot content, hit that subscribe button and get notified as soon as new videos hit the channel. Don't forget to let us know your thoughts on this tutorial in the comments section below. And if you found this video useful, give it a like and share with your friends.